Hello, let's understand another English literature lesson today. The Shawl is a well-known and extensively studied short story written by Cynthia Ozick, an American writer born in 1928. Published in 1980, the story takes place during the Holocaust and follows Rosa, a Jewish mother, her infant daughter Magda, and her 14-year-old niece Stella. The trio is being marched to a Nazi concentration camp, with Magda concealed under a shawl to protect her from being discovered. Rosa and the children are starving, and Magda's survival depends on the magical shawl, which can nourish her for three days and nights. Stella becomes envious of the shawl and resents how it shields Mag from the cold. Rosa dreams of finding a nearby village where she can leave her baby, hoping that a compassionate family will protect her from the Germans. Adding to the tension, Rosa suspects that Stella harbors ill intentions toward Magda, perhaps even desiring to eat her out of hunger. The story implies that Magda may be the result of Rosa's rape by a German soldier complicating the family relationships. Rosa is aware that Magda will soon be discovered since she has begun to walk and her silence no longer protects her from detection. It is Stella who ultimately exposes Magda by tearing away the shawl to warm herself. The shawl floats into the army barracks, and Magda ventures out in search of it. She is then discovered by the guards as she cries out for the first time. In a shocking turn of events, one of the Nazi officers seizes Magda and hurls her against the electric fence, killing her as she calls out for her mother. Rosa, fearing for her own life, retrieves Magda's shawl and stuffs it into her own mouth to stifle any sounds she might make. The story ends with Rosa silently mourning her daughter's tragic fate. The Holocaust is an important subject for Ozick's fiction and the shawl is her most widely known work. In just a few pages, Ozik captures the horror of recent history, but through using magical realist touches rather than hard realism. The shawl is full of animal imagery. At one point, Rosa is likened to a tiger possessively guarding her young. Magda's eyes are described as being like blue tigers, suggesting that the Rosa thinks of the innocent tiger lilies in the countryside. Stella is ravenous, hungry, and ready to devour her own cousin to stave off starvation. Stella is described as being jealous of Magda because she has her magic shawl to nourish and sustain her, while 14-year-old Stella has nothing. Rosa looks at Magda and is reminded of the wild rats in search of carrion to eat. Magda in her shawl puts Rosa in mind of a squirrel in its nest, safe from the predations of the outside world. Rosa thinks of the innocent tiger lilies in the countryside. Stella is ravenous, hungry, and ready to devour her own cousin to stave off starvation. Stella is described as being jealous of Magda because she has her magic shawl to nourish and sustain her, while 14-year-old Stella has nothing. Rosa looks at Magda and is reminded of the wild rats in search of carrion to eat. Magda in her shawl puts Rosa in mind of a squirrel in its nest, safe from the predations of the outside world. The shawl is also filled with images of silence and being silenced. Magda remains mute and avoids detection. The shawl acts as a kind of pacifier or dummy and keeps her quiet and happy. When she loses the shawl, she finally discovers her voice. Rosa knows that she must suppress her own urge to wail when she saw her infant daughter be murdered in the most brutal way. The shawl is thus passed from daughter to mother in a grim inversion of the common practice. 